Well, there's uh, this is for Austin Beer Works. <clears throat> if you have not had any of the beers, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you've had uh, was it Eagle Fire, uh, yeah, great IPA. Uh, there's a couple other ones that are really awesome. They had a, a Pilsner and another one, um, but they definitely have pushed a lot uh, for a beer company, no matter how old. Well, except for like Anheuser Busch, like the ones that are kind of old, even like St. Arnold, they've been on for a long time. When you push for commercial, it's not always that profitable. It is more profitable for the people to come to the breweries and buy beer from them, uh, drink there, and hang out. So, for as well as they've done, I don't know if it's smart planning, or, well, it probably is, but great job. Awesome. So, don't take anything for advantage, like, well, oh, well, you know, or for granted that, oh, yeah, well, that's on the shelf. You're doing great. Sometimes you just want to make sure that everybody gets their beer. Just support them, do the best. It's a smaller profit margin commercially, but on the premises, which I hope to get there. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy some of the beers, and honestly, when it's there, tap oh, cannot do any better than that. But for now, I am good. So this is uh, Austin Beer Works Blood Work Orange. Uh, obviously, if you ever seen Clockwork Orange, very good movie, very classic. Uh, yeah, this is just a play on words on that. But it is a Blood Orange IPA. I am not a grapefruit IPA lover. There's some I can handle, and there's some that are just not for me. So Blood Orange has a little more red pigment in the actual orange itself, but it already changes uh, the peel. Uh, the peel, the natural oils that come from the peel contribute to the flavor within the citrus, but the citric itself dies off very fast, about four hours, give or take. Lime, lemon, uh, what's it called? The Mexican lime or lemon, but it doesn't matter. Uh, blood, blood oranges, all that. So when they're whole, they're traveling. They do very well. Once you put them in something, hit or miss. But the oils are what contribute to this. So you got your beautiful hops, which are already kind of fruity. Uh, then you got your beautiful uh, malt. The recipe can vary and create different bodies. And then boom, together you have that little citrus peel in there that just changes the whole game. Yep, I don't know, it's just, it's orange, but the red pigment gives a little extra to it. Um, there was a couple that weren't my favorite early on, but I wasn't understand what I was trying either. Um, definitely there's a Texas Beer Project that's in Dallas and a couple other ones. Uh, they're using local blood orange um, oranges, and so uh, phenomenal. Number one, Texas is making it. Number two, great citrus. Three, it's a different one takes you right out the window of that. Meyer lemons, sorry, now I remember. <laughs> Meyer lemons are from Mexico. Uh, Meyer lemons and citron, uh, citrus fruit is what made lemons, I believe, if I remember correctly. It was two citrus fruits, put them together, you have a hybrid. So when you think lemon, that's actually a man-made sour fruit. So, uh, Meyer lemons are very light, delicate, but definitely have that citrusy, vibrant intensity. Whereas limes, it's its own little green, zingy, but sweet area. Especially key limes. Key limes phenomenal. This is out that. It's uh, orangey, a little robust because of that nice red pigment inside the fruit, which makes it different. That's why it's called blood orange because it has that red inside. Very good. Yeah. There's a little... Uh, stagnant pieces in there, but all the proteins in beer are 100% drinkable. Uh, you may not desire all of them, and that's okay. Some people are texture people. For me, even though there's that texture, it doesn't bother me, but the texture holds on and lingers other sweeter, uh, more fruity, indulgent flavors, where once you clean and let everything settle, you take all that clear beer, it can get very intense. So if you find yourself uh, enjoy IPAs, take a look at your beer. If it's clear, you like the very strong oils, the very strong bitter. If you see it where it's a little more cloudy, a little more hazy, you enjoy the natural uh, malt proteins that help you indulge in the other flavors and not get too much of the bitter uh, intensity. Uh, it's always gonna have some kind of bitter. Bitter is a flavor. So 
This is to help balance that out to understand where you're at. For me, citrus, malty, beautiful citrus hops to contribute to the blood orange and overall very, very enjoyable for me. My little table is a, yeah, it's still beer, it's still savory, it's still fruity, it's still balanced, and it's still amazing. So even though I'm talking to you, I'm still getting more remnants of the other flavors. So always, Austin Beer Works, Fire Eagle caught my eye on you, but you're doing a great job. Keep it up. So two thumbs up for that, and this video, every time I do my videos, just know this is for if you don't understand where you're at on beer, this is to help you understand where you are at. Anybody else who knows beer, who knows where they're at, you can be like, oh, I want that. I don't want that. You know, this is not to be intellectual. I mean, this is really to help people enjoy beer. I hate that half the time when I had questions asked me, nobody knew crap about beer. There's a little more of a spectrum to grab a hold of. But once you do, you know where you're at, where your friend's at, where you can get them. And then sometimes you just enjoy it together. Bring a beer that they might not have never tried. And you were like, no, no, this one I really think that is close to this that you like and I've seen you drink and we can have this together and hang out and have a good time. Boom. It is great. Uh, beer used to be traded as equivalent to gold. Gold was powerful and salt was powerful and beer used to be right there. So this is for beer. Always stay classy, gold and salty. Either way, let's see what we got. If you like it, good for you. If not, move on to the next one.